Raising kids is a lot of work, and I'm not just talking about the keeping them alive part. I'm talking about the raising them to become a decent human being who will make the world a better place. If you're like me and parenting right now, you may feel overwhelmed by the amount of parenting tips that are thrown at you, and it may be difficult to discern what's the priority for my kid right now. You may be thinking, what can I do or say at this specific moment in time that will make the most impact on my kids when it comes to the sex talks? As a sex ed expert who's also a very involved mom to two young kids, here's my little piece of advice. If you have a child in the intermediate age, ages seven, eight, or nine, explain to them what is sex, even if they have not asked. I'm Kathleen and I make videos for parents on how to have the modern day sex talks. Now, if your gut reaction here is, hell no Kathleen, that is way too young to explain what is sex, then please spend the next few minutes and at least hear me out. Kids in the intermediate age are generally not going through puberty changes, and yet they've had some time to experience the world outside of their home. They've been going to school for a bit, play on the playground, and partake in diverse social dynamics in the classroom, after school, and at activities. They've experienced a range of emotions, including acceptance, exclusion, sadness, frustration, joy, rejection, and have rode the roller coaster of emotions in the past six to seven years of their life. They're also reading and writing a bit and learning about the world around them from you and other adults and kids in their life. Now here is the most wonderful part about the intermediate age and having a child who is seven, eight, or nine years old, in my opinion, is that you, their parent, is still super cool to them. They wanna hang out with you, they wanna play Lego with you, they wanna read with you and listen to you and talk to you and do as much as they can with you because they wanna be like you. This age is a brilliant time to talk about sex and sexuality because they are keen to learn everything they can, not just sex related, from you. Melissa Joan Hart recently shared how the sex talks are going with her three sons, age 16, 14, and nine. She said that her eldest wants to know nothing from his mom, while her middle child will engage a little. But her little one is like, tell me everything. And the Sabrina star isn't alone when it comes to this type of feedback from her kids. Many parents have shared with me that they find their kids to be genuinely interested in learning at this age, and the talks about puberty changes, masturbation, and sex go over very well because the parents have prepared themselves to discuss these topics with their kids, and they're not caught off guard or surprised when their kid asks them a sex question. In a 2020 systematic review of parent-child communication about sex, research found that parents felt embarrassed to discuss sexual and reproductive health topics, as well as felt that they weren't a credible source to explain certain things due to their own lack of sex education. And I've heard these exact sentiments echoed from parents in the comment sections of my socials. So for parents who want to overcome the awkwardness or embarrassment and get prepared to have the sex talks, I'm here to help you. But if you're thinking, my seven, eight, or nine-year-old just is not interested in any of this sex stuff yet, well, According to research from Johns Hopkins Children's Hospital, children between the ages of six to 10 years old are very interested in learning about pregnancy and birth, gender roles, gender expression, reproduction, and of course, sex. By dismissing their questions during this age range, they may never come back to you with a sex question in the future. If you lie, you will lose credibility and trust with them. And it's the precipice of when their peers, friends, and media, including social media and the entertainment industries, will start to have a bigger influence on their attitudes and beliefs around a variety of topics, including sex. During the intermediate age, you have the opportunity to guide the conversation about sex by explaining what is sex and why people have sex. You get to share with them your family values, including religious and cultural beliefs around sex, and when it is acceptable to engage in sex. You can ensure that they get medically accurate information in an age-appropriate way. And you can potentially prevent child sexual abuse from occurring because you're giving your child the information and skills to know what sex is and why it is not something children do. If you're still feeling hesitant to have the sex talks during the intermediate age, please let me know in the comments what's your main fear, what's holding you back from going forward and having these talks with your kid. If you found this video to be helpful, please go on and give it a like and share it with a parent friend who you think may also find it helpful. I'm Kathleen and of course, I'll be back next week with another video.